NASA has opened a space capsule containing the largest asteroid sample ever collected by a space mission. The sample came from the asteroid Bennu and was collected by the OSIRIS-REx mission. Surprisingly, the sample was 100 grams heavier than expected, even though it was safely stored in a sealed container. So, how did this happen in the first place? And most importantly, what do scientists expect to find in the detailed analysis of the largest asteroid sample that has ever returned to Earth? The OSIRIS-REx Mission When the OSIRIS-REx mission was launched on 8 September 2016, it had three key goals. The first was sample collection. The mission aimed to collect pristine samples from the asteroid's surface, providing crucial material for scientists to study and understand the composition of primitive asteroids. The second goal was asteroid characterization. Astronomers wanted to know the geology of Bennu, and the mission was tasked with mapping the asteroid's surface, determining its composition, and assessing its potential as a resource for future space exploration. Finally, the third key objective was Earth's impact hazard assessment. As mentioned earlier, Bennu is a potentially hazardous asteroid. On September 25, 2135, Bennu will make a close flyby of Earth, making it challenging to calculate its future trajectory due to the influence of gravity and non-gravitational forces like the Yarkovsky effect. The day side of an asteroid heats up, while the night side cools down releasing heat and causing a small thrust on the asteroid, which can change its direction over time. This effect, though challenging to model, significantly impacts the fate of asteroids. Because we don't know exactly how the Yarkovsky effect will perturb Bennu's orbit, we have limited knowledge of where Bennu will be as it approaches Earth in 2135. Scientists must consider various trajectories based on the Yarkovsky effect on Bennu, some of which align with gravitational keyholes. If Bennu passes through a keyhole, Earth's gravity will bend its path, impacting a subsequent orbit in the 22nd century. The odds of this actually happening are quite low, but scientists want to know as much as possible. The Journey to Bennu The Journey to Bennu was a two-year, four-month voyage. On 3rd December 2018, OSIRIS-REx arrived at its destination after traveling approximately 1.4 billion miles. It entered orbit around the asteroid, initiating a series of surveys and mapping activities to select the optimal site for sample collection. The most thrilling phase of the OSIRIS-REx mission was the sample collection event, which occurred on 20th October 2020. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft successfully collected a sample from the asteroid Bennu using its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism. The robotic arm, attached to the spacecraft's main body, had to collect the sample in almost zero gravity due to Bennu's small diameter. The spacecraft made contact with Bennu at Nightingale, using nitrogen gas to lift surface material into the sample collection chamber. The minimum sample size was 60 grams, but in a brief nine-second contact, the spacecraft collected 300 grams of the sample, five times what NASA had anticipated. However, the material escaped due to a jammed flap caused by larger rocks, so NASA skipped the scheduled measurement and sealed the sample for return. OSIRIS-REx departed Bennu in May 2021 and returned to Earth on September 24, 2023. After more than two years, the capsule containing the asteroid sample entered Earth's atmosphere at 12 kilometers per second and deployed a parachute. It landed safely at the Utah Test and Training Range, where NASA personnel recovered it. Scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center opened the sample return canister, a sight that surprised and excited them. The Surprise The first thing scientists saw was a layer of dark powder and sand-sized particles on the avionics deck of the sample canister, likely belonging to Bennu. This dust not only coated the interior of the canister, but also extended to its exterior, including the avionics deck, where the electronics were housed. The dust escaped from the canister through tiny openings between the lid and the body. The question that arises is how did this happen? 
NASA reports that the collision of OSIRIS-REx on Bennu caused a shockwave that expelled certain materials into space. Some of this material retreated and stuck to the spacecraft's outer surfaces, while others entered the sample canister through an open flap. The combined mass of the sample, including dust and debris, is approximately 400 grams, exceeding scientific goals. The sample remains in excellent condition due to minimal exposure to high temperatures or contamination. However, the presence of dust and debris on the avionics deck poses a unique challenge for scientists who must carefully handle and clean the debris. The Significance of Asteroid Missions This sample return mission is a historic moment. But why are space agencies investing billions of dollars in visiting space rocks that are hardly half a mile wide? Asteroids are time capsules. They formed in the early solar system when the planets were still forming. Asteroids comprise the same materials as the planets, but have not been processed by plate tectonics or other geological processes. This means they can preserve a record of the early solar system not found on Earth. For example, scientists have discovered organic molecules on asteroids, which are believed to be the building blocks of life. Ryugu, a carbonaceous asteroid, is an example of this. In 2020, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 returned samples from Ryugu to Earth, which were analyzed for organic molecules, including amino acids, which are essential for proteins. This suggests that life's ingredients may have arrived on Earth via asteroids in its early history. The next phase, OSIRIS Apex. The OSIRIS Apex mission, now renamed OSIRIS REx, will focus on studying asteroid Apophis, a near Earth asteroid with a 1 in 150,000 chance of impacting Earth in 2068. The spacecraft will arrive in April 2029, spending 18 months studying Apophis from orbit. During this time, the spacecraft will use its instruments to image, map, study its composition, and measure its size and shape. The OSIRIS Apex mission is a critical step in our understanding of near-Earth objects and the threat they pose to Earth. The mission's data will help us better protect our planet from asteroid impacts. NASA's discovery inside the largest asteroid sample ever collected opens up exciting new possibilities for our understanding of the universe. What other secrets do you think these space rocks hold? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from Fact Epics. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.